What about writing? How did you come to be a writer? Was it right from a child? Were you were you a good writer? If, yes. If you asked me as a child what I wanted to do, I would have said writing. Really? But writing for children, it, you just sort of you regress to be a child yourself. Yeah. And I, I, this is written from my point of view as a sort of seven-year-old, and it's set in Teddington, and it's about a family of hyenas. And I, from the road, <laughs> the, suburb, the suburban road we lived in, there was a family a few doors down who were very hairy. <laughs> and, <laughs> I used to daydream as a child that they, these, this family were animals of some kind, and then they used to laugh a lot, and then this just confirmed my theory <laughs> that they are hyenas. So when, when I came to write a children's book, I went back to that memory, and uh, it all just came tumbling out, wrote it very quickly. I think you're right, though, in terms of kids, kids do, especially at that age, they do love animals, and they are obsessed with the whole idea that they are just as smart as, as humans are. So tapping into that mm. might seem a, a little bit odd from a sensible grown-up point of view, but kids absolutely love it. Yes, they do. They grasp it. And mm. someone sent me a quote the other day, which I liked, and I can't remember who it's by, but it's, it says, you write the book that needs to be written, and if it's too complicated for adults, then you write it for children. <laughs> <laughs> You started off with your autobiography, yeah, I did. which was very well received, and then you went on and wrote three novels. So, what yes. are you going to go on to now? Well, you After obviously this. spend most of your time writing. Don't you? How, how do you split it between writing and performing? Well, I rotate the different activities. I want to write another. Bold, well, I have written the follow-up to the Bolds, mm. uh, another Bolds adventure. Um, I don't know. I've got to a time of life where you can you sort of only do the things that you enjoy yeah. doing. Mm. So, I can rotate them, can't I? I can. I can be at home writing a book for a few months, then I go and do panto, and yeah. then I think, oh, I must, I must be a bit filthier. And I, so, <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, this has been, been very clean. Quite I'm, going to, I'm going to do a tour next spring, which will be me sort of unleashed. And, uh, Is that the um, Gentleman's Relish tour? Is it might be one? called Gentleman's Relish. It might be called uh, The Joy of Mincing. <laughs> Do you like that title? <laughs> we like that. That works. I'm still yeah. toying. Or MBE, Mince with the British Empire. <laughs> <laughs> Not such a good response. <laughs> you're very quiet. I I'm am. I'm just listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> so wasn't it, are, are you doing some telly now as well, are you? Yes, I've done this lovely programme, which is also about animals, called Britain's Nature Nuts. That um, is, it, it's. Oh, um... well, that went down well. Maybe call your tour that. Nature Nuts sounds like squirrels. Are people. It's, no, it's about people who are obsessed with nature, right. like, so there's someone who loves hedgehogs above all else, and then right. we arrive with the film crew. As Paul said in a press conference when he got back home, you know, and he was pouring tea, there's an apartment in New York, there's a couple of ants going across, <laughs> and, you know, before this movie, he would, boom. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I probably wouldn't, now I yeah. don't know, they're on a mission. 